फ्रेंड्स इन दिस वीडियो वी लर्न हाउ टू सेट मित्सुबिशी ड्राइव कंप्लीट पैरामीटर सो लेट स्टार्ट वीडियो एंड फर्स्ट अंडरस्टैंड विच कीज एंड विच इंडिकेटर्स गिवन इन मित्सुबिशी ड्राइव सो फर्स्ट कीज स्टॉप एंड रिसेट की बाय विच वी कैन स्टॉप आवर मोटर और रिसेट एनी फॉल्ट सेकेंड की इज ग्रीन कीज फॉर रन फंक्शन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू स्टार्ट यूर मोटर और ड्राइव सो रन की इज फॉर स्टार्ट यूर मोटर पी यू एंड एक्सटर्नल की इफ यू वॉन्ट टू रन यूर मोटर इन पी यू मोड एंड स्विच टू एक्सटर्नल मोड सो जस्ट प्रेस एंड इफ यू रन यूर ड्राइव इन एक्सटर्नल मोड एंड वॉन्ट टू रन इन पी यू मोड सो प्रेस पी यू मोड सेट की फॉर सेट एनी पैरामीटर ऑफ द ड्राइव एंड नेक्स्ट इज लास्ट की इज फॉर मोड by which you can enter any parameter so for entering mode key is for use also we have one inbuilt port by which we can increase and decrease parameter so pu mode port is given also we have one display in this display we can see motor frequency in hertz also running ampere can see and also voltage which is incoming voltage so voltage ampere and frequency we can see in this display also we have run indicator when our drive in running condition then run indicator will blink if your motor run with external push button so external indicator will blink if your drive run in manual mode or pu mode so pu indicator will blink so let's start video and learn which parameter we need to enter in this mitsubishi d700 drive for entering parameter just press menu button you can see p0 now first p0 for torque boost parameter if your motor is heavy so you can increase torque boost it's the most important parameter because our motor is low so we set 6 for torque boost next parameter p1 p1 is for maximum frequency so maximum frequency we set 120 which frequency you want to run your motor so you can set in mini maximum frequency p2 is for minimum frequency and minimum frequency should be zero so we set zero in p2 parameter which is minimum frequency so we just set zero and for setting parameter first we press set key now you can see we press mode key by this we can set parameter you can see here next parameter is p3 P3 is for base frequency. So base frequency in India is 50 Hz. So first we set 50 Hz frequency in base frequency. So we set 50 Hz for setting parameter. Set key press again mode key press. Now parameter is set. Next parameter is P4. If you want to run your motor in multi speed function, so P4 for high speed in multi speed function. So we set 50 Hz frequency. and p5 is middle speed so in middle speed we set 30 hertz frequency p6 is low speed so which frequency you want to run in multi speed you can set manually now p7 is for acceleration time so in acceleration time we set 5 second when your motor will start so zero to high speed which time we take we just set acceleration time or ramp up time so ramp up time set is 5 second in this drive p8 for deacceleration time in deacceleration time we set 2.5 second when we stop our drive so high speed to zero frequency which time drive will take so we set deacceleration time 2.5 second next parameter is p9 which is overload setting or electronic thermal overload relay in which you just set overload ampere in this drive now next parameter is p15 p15 parameter for jog frequency so we set 5 hertz for jog frequency when you inch you are drive so 5 hertz set for jog application next parameter p16 for jog acceleration and jog deacceleration or ramp up or ramp down in jog application okay i hope you clear the concept so for jog acceleration and jog deacceleration we set 0.5 second okay i hope you clear the concept and next parameter is p77 p70 para 7 parameters for parameter right selection by which you can lock your drive if you say 2 that means your lock is open all parameter will be c and all parameter can be changed easily if you say 1 that means drive in lock condition no parameter will change and if you set 
then your parameter will be changed but when you are driving a stop condition if you are driving a start condition so no parameter will be changed okay i hope you clear the concept for lock open we said two next parameter for reverse direction selection if you set p780 then your motor will run in forward and reverse both direction if you set one then your motor will run only in forward direction if you say 2, that means your motor will run only in reverse direction. If you say 0, then your drive will run your motor in forward and reverse both direction. Next parameter is P79, which is operation mode selection. If you say 3, then your drive will start to stop with the external push button. And for speed control, PU port will be used. Okay, if you say 3. Now, if you say 2, then your drive will start to stop with the external push button. Also, frequency will be changed with external potentiometer. Okay, so drive will run in external mode. If you say 1, they, if you say 1, that means your drive will start to stop with this push button and speed will be controlled with PU mode or this given potentiometer. Okay, if you say 1, then your drive run start to stop with PU mode and if you say 4, okay. If you set 4, then your drive will start stop with PU mode. This is start, the start and stop push button. And speed of the motor will control with potentiometer or port. I hope you clear the concept. If you have any doubt, please pause the video and note down all the concept. I hope you clear the video. Now, next parameter is P80, which is a motor capacity parameter in which we need to enter motor kilowatt. Okay, so P80 for motor capacity. P83 for motor rated voltage. Okay, we said 400 for motor rated voltage in P83. Now for digital input selection because STF terminal is used for forward rotation. If you want to use STF terminal for forward rotation, so set 178. In 178, we said 60 for forward direction rotation. Okay, so STF command for forward rotation. For forward rotation, we set 60 in 178. Next parameter is 179 which is STR command. If you want to use STR terminal for reverse rotation, so we said 61 for reverse rotation 179 parameter for reverse STR command. So I hope you clear the concept of how to set Mitsubishi drive complete parameter and function of all the parameter. If you like this video, please press like button. If you have any query, please ask in comments box for today's enough. We'll meet in next video. Thanks for watching.